Nelson Mandela's life was one that showed great strength, perseverance, and a never-give-up attitude. He was born on July 18, 1918, in a village called Mvezo in South Africa. His father was a chief of their tribe. As he grew up in the Eastern Cape region, he saw for himself the unfairness and differences that black South Africans had to endure because of apartheid, a cruel system that kept them from having the same rights as others. Mandela's early education was disrupted by the effects of apartheid, which segregated schools based on race and limited educational opportunities for black children. However, Mandela's family placed a strong emphasis on the value of education, instilling in him a deep desire to learn and succeed. At a young age, Mandela was sent to the local mission school where he began his formal education. However, the school was rudimentary and the quality of education was far from ideal. Mandela later described how students were often taught in poorly equipped classrooms, lacking basic materials like pencils and paper. Despite these challenges, Mandela excelled in his studies and displayed a natural aptitude for learning. He was a diligent student, often spending long hours studying by candlelight in the evenings. Mandela's determination to succeed was fueled by his desire to escape the cycle of poverty and discrimination that defined life for black South Africans under apartheid. Mandela finished his schooling and moved to Johannesburg. There, he became very active in fighting against the segregation of black people. He joined a group called the African National Congress, ANC, and worked his way up to being one of their main leaders, fighting for the rights of black South Africans. In 1962, Mandela traveled abroad to seek support for the ANC's struggle against apartheid. During his trip, he underwent military training and met with leaders of other liberation movements and governments sympathetic to the anti-apartheid cause. Upon his return to South Africa, Mandela was arrested on August 5, 1962, near Howick in Natal, now KwaZulu-Natal. He was charged with leaving the country without a valid passport and inciting workers to strike. The main charge against him, however, was involvement in planning acts of sabotage as a leader of Umkanto we Sizwe, the armed wing of the African National Congress, ANC. For nearly three decades, Mandela was held in different prisons, including the notorious Robben Island. Despite facing difficult circumstances and being separated from his loved ones, Mandela stayed true to his beliefs and never wavered in his dedication to the struggle for freedom. During his time in prison, Mandela became a powerful symbol of defiance against apartheid, not just in South Africa, but throughout the globe. His imprisonment only spurred on the fight against segregation as supporters came together to demand his freedom. After much pressure from other countries and growing dissatisfaction within South Africa, Nelson Mandela was released from prison in 1990. This was a monumental event that signaled the start of a new chapter for the country. After being released from prison, Mandela immediately began working towards healing and unifying South Africa. He negotiated with the government to end the system of racial segregation, known as apartheid. Finally, in 1994, South Africa held its first elections, where all citizens were able to vote freely and fairly. This was a major step towards creating a new democratic country. The people of South Africa elected Nelson Mandela as their first black president. This was a historic moment because it represented their hope for unity and overcoming oppression. During his presidency, Mandela focused on healing the wounds of apartheid and building a nation based on equality and justice for all. He established the Truth and Reconciliation Commission, which provided a forum for victims and perpetrators of human rights abuses to come forward and seek reconciliation. Under Mandela's leadership, South Africa underwent a remarkable transformation. He worked tirelessly to dismantle the institutionalized racism of apartheid and build a society based on equality and justice for all its citizens.
One of his major achievements as president was the implementation of significant social and economic reforms. To address the deep-rooted inequalities in the country, Mandela's government introduced policies aimed at improving access to education, health care, and housing for all South Africans, regardless of their race. He understood that true freedom could only be achieved when every individual had the opportunity to thrive and succeed. In addition to his domestic reforms, Mandela also played a crucial role in fostering international relations for South Africa. He worked to rebuild the country's reputation on the global stage and strengthen diplomatic ties with other nations. His efforts helped to end South Africa's isolation and paved the way for its reintegration into the international community. As Mandela's presidency entered its second term, the weight of his years in prison and the relentless responsibilities of leading a nation began to take their toll. His once vibrant spirit seemed to flicker like a candle, struggling against a gust of wind. The burden of reconciling a deeply divided country, of trying to heal wounds that ran centuries deep, had etched lines on his face that no amount of laughter or rest could erase. Mandela still possessed an unwavering determination to see his vision for South Africa come to fruition, but he also felt the weight of his own mortality pressing down upon him. The years spent behind bars had not only aged his body, but had also aged his soul, leaving him with a weariness that no amount of rest could alleviate. It was during one quiet evening, as he sat alone in the dimly lit study of his presidential residence, that Mandela made the decision that would shock the world. He realized that the time had come for him to step down from the presidency. The weight of the nation's expectations, coupled with his own declining health, had reached a tipping point. Mandela knew that he had given his all to South Africa, but now it was time for a new generation to carry the torch forward. Mandela resigned as president in 1999 and continued to work for peace, justice, and human rights on a global scale. He was deeply respected, known for his humility, wisdom, and unwavering dedication to the values of freedom and equality. On December 5, 2013, Mandela passed away, leaving behind an influential legacy that still motivates people all over the world. His life is a powerful example of how the human spirit can endure through hardship and how hope and forgiveness can triumph over challenges. Thank you.